Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling. In this session of the video, we're actually going to talk about the spleen. Exactly. So the spleen, which is this organ, this is pancreas, this is spleen, this is this uh, duodenum. So this spleen is actually look is an organ that is located in the upper left of the abdomen. And we are talking about the anatomy of the spleen. And this spleen, which I have made a little bit larger, but it is not that much large comparatively, is actually size of your clenched fist. Fist. Roughly, it's the size of your clench clenched fist and the spleen actually functions uh, as you know functions mainly as blood filters because it kind of filters bl your blood and remove the old blood cells and it also plays an important role in both cell mediated and humoral immune response now when we go and talk about the anatomy anatomical position of the spleen we know that the spleen is located in the upper upper left quadrant of the abdomen and it is located under the cover of the rib cage and your diaphragm and your diaphragm kind of covered like this and the rib cage are located above it like if you're if you're going uh, on the if you're looking anterior to the spleen you'll find your stomach then the diaphragm covering it and again on the upper side you'll find the rib cage covering on the uh, on this uh, on the anterior surface as we go further, we talk about that, and uh, this is the only reason that the, all the structures are covering it from the above side, like diaphragm and ribcage, and this is the reason it cannot be palpated normally. Remember, if some if teacher is going to ask you why we cannot palpate the spleen in normal position, because it is covered by the diaphragm and your ribcage, but it can be palpated when it is enlarged uh, due to any cancer. And one thing to more about the spleen, it is an intraperitoneal organ, which means that it is covered by the peritoneal completely, except at the place of the hilum. We know that the place of the hilum, this is the hilum, where other uh, structures, vessels coming from here, kind of splenic artery, all, all the structure entering the hilum. Uh, this area is actually not intraperitoneal, except, uh, except that it's all intraperitoneal. And one thing to more remember now, we, we talk about the connection of the spleen. We talked about the anatomical position, now we'll talk about the connection of spleen. So remember, the uh, spleen is connected uh, to the stomach and to the liver by two ligaments. And those ligaments are made from the peritoneum. So they are made from the peritoneal fold. So those peritoneal fold join together to form two ligaments. We, if they are connected, we call those ligaments, the one leg of the one ligament, we call it gastro, which means stomach. Splenic means splenic, splenic ligament. The first ligament is gastro splenic ligament, which actually is a part of your greater omentum and it's a double fold membrane because I have talked about it coming from the peritoneum. And it is anteriorly, you know, it is connected anterior to splenic hilum, anterior it is connected to the splenic hilum and uh, and to the greater curvature of the stomach. The stomach is covering up like this and uh, from downside it's, con it's uh, like connecting to the greater curvature. So gastrosplenic ligament connecting stomach and the splenic, the spleen. The second thing, the second ligament is the, uh, is the spleno-renal ligament. Spleno-renal ligament. By the word we mean spleno means spleen, renal means kidney. So they are like on the uh, they are connect they are connected by the spleen and uh, the and the renal which is kidney are connected together by from from a ligament called the uh, spleno renal ligament and it is connected posterior to splenic hilum posteriorly to splenic hilum uh, and of the spleen and to left of the kidney like this is the left side because your spleen is located on the left side so that's why it is connected to your left kidney and the posterior surface of your Spleno-renal ligament, and remember that the tail of pancreas and splenic vessels lie within this ligament, spleno-renal ligament, and between these two ligament is the between two these two ligament, gastro spleen ligament and the spleno-renal uh, spleno ligament is the lesser sac. Let's further talk about the spleen. Uh, we talk about the, now we talk about the ant, uh, anatomical relations of the spleen. And in the case of anatomical relations of the spleen, we know uh, the anteriorly, I have just told you, anterior to the spleen, we have got the biggest structure, which is the stomach. Anteriorly, we got the stomach. Posteriorly, I have told you already, we got the diaphragm, the uh, P-H-R-A-G-M, right? Posteriorly, we got diaphragm, we got left lung, 
because the spleen is on the left side, that's my left lung, and we got ribs. I told you about ribs and posteriorly, so ribs from 9 to 11 ribs. This is the anterior, this is the posterior. Now if we talk about inferiorly, what is located inferiorly, we can see inferiorly we have the left colic flexure. We know what we talked about when the small intestine take, kind of take turns, it, um, it kind of forms a flexure, a splenic flexure we also call it, or we call it the left colic, sorry, colic flexure or you can say splenic flexure and by by going medially like this uh, the this side was the lateral side inferior oh, sorry this was the inferior side now we talk about the medial side on the medial side if we're mission john medial on the medial side we have the left kidney on the medial side because uh, the spleen renal ligament is going to attach with it uh, going to attach both of them and the tail of the pancreas, you can see this tail of pancreas kind of extending into the hilum of the uh, hilum of uh, the spleen. So it's the the second structure is the tail of the pancreas. All right. Now let's further talk about the vasculature of the kidney, of the spleen. Sorry. If we now if we go to and talk about the vasculature, or you can say arterial supply. So the arterial supply of the spleen is the splenic artery, right? Splenic artery so this splenic artery is coming from your uh from each from your main branches from the uh, from your celiac trunk kind of over here your ceiling trunk which is arising from your abdominal aorta like there are three branches of the celiac trunk and one of them is your splenic artery and the splenic artery kind of goes above uh, superior to the pancreas and uh, kind of goes and in turn to the hilum over here so this is the uh, artery which supplies your uh, spleen which is which we call the splenic artery and venous drainage is also by the uh, splenic vein a splenic vein remember this one and remember one thing more the splenic vein together with uh, the uh, what, what we call the superior epigastric uh, epigastric vein join together to form the portal vein remember this one Splenic vein and epigastric, uh, superior epigastric vein join together to form the portal vein. But normally the uh, spleen is drained into the splenic vein, which goes back to the portal vein and drained into the portal vein. Or you can say the hepatic portal vein. And if we talk about the nerve supply, we have to be specific about the nerve supply. So the nerve supply is your colic plexus. And lymphatics, we won't be talking about in detail about the lymphatics, but I'll just give you a hint, a hint that uh, finally the lymphatics of the whole spleen is going to drain into your, if you're talking about the lymph, it is going to drain into your pancreatico splenic lymph nodes. Uh, that's it about the spleen, uh, and uh, this is it. And make sure to watch our other videos and please make sure to subscribe to our channel and keep visiting Tiger Schooling.